This is their wallet address. Take it or believe it. Believe what you like. But here's $25.47, otherwise known as $25.47, which is today's fluctuation. And here are all the figures that these. this is their wallet paying to make these transactions doable. Now, th if you're sitting here thinking, is this real arbitrage trading? This is a trade that they claim is real. So $100 comes in and they buy it of day stablecoin. And if you go down to the fourth line, you can see $98. So they, this trade actually lost money when it happened. So it is real trading. It's not real arbitrage trading because arbitrage trading makes a profit. But this is actually showing you these four lines. They get the flash loan money. They do the trade and then they lose money. So those four loans show that this trade that they did lost money. They incurred some fees along the way. So this was three cents worth of fees. Uh, just click a button on my screen. And then down the bottom here, the person MetaMask wallet, which was a separate transaction altogether. This is not connected to any of the other hoo-ha, but they managed to get $23.99. How is that possible? Now, you might think, wow, that's amazing. But no, it's because the the information that you're looking at is actually all generated from the website. So what I want to do now is I want to show you that. And to do that, I have to flip into a cleverer screen than I'm using at the moment. So let me do this just briefly. And this might um, uh, alarm you when you see something like this. But this is actually the code of the website. Now, what I'm going to do, for those people that want to follow along, I've actually set up a, a code where you can actually see how to get exactly what I'm looking at. So let's just say I'm looking at the website and I can't click on the logo. So let's go, I go to the website, all right? And I will start this um, this again. But what I want to do is just stop sharing that. That's good for me. All right, so I'm on the website and I right click. I'm using Chrome and it doesn't show up. My right click doesn't show up. Anyway, trust me, right click and I go into inspect. So now the website will take me to what looks like a whole lot of real tricky code. And if you follow my instructions, you just need to go into, the first thing you want to do is click on sources, and it's not tomato sauce. It's not ketchup. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to go to what looks like here, App Boomerang. That's that one that I'm highlighting. And then you want to go down until you find Static, which is this one here. And then you want to open this, and you want to go into JS. And then you can look at these files yourself. So let's just say I'm going to make this a bit small. I'll, I'll leave it big, but it's a bit hard to see. But I go down here, and I'll, I just want to look at a couple of files. So the files that I want to look at is, the first one I want to look at is opportunities. And there's opportunities there. So in here, if you're a coder, you can see that this is actually bringing up the opportunities. These are all scored out. These are ones that they must edit every now and again. But you come down here long enough, and these are the market opportunities, and you won't find anything in here more than 1.3 because they don't want you to do trades more than 1.3, and they don't want you to do trading over $1,500, and I'll show you more about that. So here is the, the minimum, the maximum, and the minimum percentages that you will you will be presented. So one zero point fifty two, you got that. Then we come down here, and if you come down here long enough, you'll see that these are actually live because a hash means it's hashed out. If we come down here, er, 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 all these hashes will be hashed out, and then you can see the live stuff that is actually happening. And oh, these are hashed out again. Uh, there they are. So here's the live ones. So you'll never ever find a trade on their website with USD, and notice the order, USD first, and then Welt, whatever Welt. Now what we do is we come back to the website, and we click on Market Opportunities, and you will actually see that the, the USD one, see how they've got, they're always in the same order as these. So what I'm getting at is the, the page that you're looking at here is derived from the code that you see in the back of the website. Now, if I want to refresh this, they are telling people that this is refreshing and going out for market opportunities, and it's going to all the exchanges and then bringing back the results in a millisecond. Now, arbitrage trading does happen really quick, but it doesn't happen, you don't have hours of time. You actually, theoretically, they say, if you look it up, it takes milliseconds. You've got to be really quick because it's the deficiency between two exchanges before they update from the source. If we wait long enough, did you see it just refreshed? What it did, it just reshuffled. 
So let me prove that to you. So I'm looking for the highest trade. Now, remember, you won't find one over 1.1% because the back end of the website won't allow it. But you look at this one here. This is an easy one to remember. So we're looking at 100122. And in a minute, that there, link and USDCE will disappear. And you would think that that percentage would change because these deficiencies between platforms don't last forever. So what were we looking for? We're looking for that one zero zero, and there it is right there. And you can see the trade is exactly the same. Now, theoretically, it's gone away to, theoretically, they're telling you this is arbitrage trading, and it's going away to the exchanges to get the market opportunities. So that's all fudged. So the next thing you want to look at, if you're into the back end of the website, you want to go down to a file called main, and hopefully I can find it, but there it is, main. Now, main if you search for a figure that we put in the website, which is 1.277, and I'll chuck that in there. I've never heard of USDC either, funny enough, but it's in the code of the website, so sure it's going to be there. But now we're going to search for that figure, right? Now, where is that? Um, there. Is it there? I think we found it. It just doesn't seem to. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Try that one there. Yeah, so we've got two matches. So what happened is Rob found a whole page of 50 transactions where people were getting the same percentage back every time. So if you decided that you wanted to go away to the, the interweb and you follow this line, now this line of code, now see Aave and Wealth, right? Now if you, if the payout rates, this is how they determine the payout rates that you're getting put in your MetaMask wallet. So if you have, have traded with Aave and is it Wealth, and you put in a trade between $1 and $43, it's going to pay you out $1.3, which is the maximum. If you uh, put in $43 and, and between $86, it's going to pay out $1.961. So all these monies that you're getting in your wallet, you've been told that they are coming from arbitrage trading. We've gone through, I've gone through personally, at least five, 600 of these trades, and not one of them has ever made a profit. However, everyone's getting paid profits. Now, there is another point to my madness here. If we go to, um, we've got market opportunities. It was in my head and it disappeared there for a while. Uh, why would a jog percentages? Um, 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 I can't remember what I was saying now. It must be too much, um, not enough coffee for Danny. Uh, oh, yes. So if we go to the bot here, now what they're telling people is because they are locking in, instead of entering in how much money that you want to trade, they have made it with a new website that isn't functional that you can do $10, $20, $30, $100, $150. That means that they will, well, they should have, actually already updated these percentages. But these are live because they're red. And if you go all the way back to the beginning, oh, I know what I was going to show you. Um, you can see that these haven't changed one iota. So they've literally taken down the website, told everyone they're going to launch on the 20th. On the 21st, they've put back the old website and added a page that does nothing. If you go back to, um, oh, good, it's still here. So what I did is I grabbed that code. Now, that code is so large that I can't actually put it into chat GPT unless I basically grab a chunk of it. So I told chat GPT to actually use this code that I've chucked in from their website, and I've told it to, let's read, what, could you please put these into a table? So a table is a lot easier to read, wouldn't you agree? So you can see the peers, these peers here. So if I took that peer and I went back to the website and I put that peer in here, you can see that this peer here is the name of the peer. So there's three references to this. So let's go through. There we go. So this peer, if somebody picks that peer and they trade between $1 and $57, we're going to pay them out 1.3. So what they're encouraging people to do is to do small $10 trades. People realized that they didn't have a mathematical equation for, for trades that were less than a cent. So they they used 00061678 as the percentage, and then the system went AWOL. And we've got uh, examples of people that have been paid astronomical money. 
because they didn't have a mathematical equation. And one example of that, which is this one here, which I've got pre uh, in a bookmark, and this person paid $10 and got paid out $91. How did that happen if it's real arbitrage trading? If it's not real arbitrage trading, then one would think you guys are relying on this code or the graph. Now, here's the graph. So somebody trades these two, and they bid between $1 and $57, and you get 1.3. And you can see if when you go down here, if they bid $500, it's now 1.22. None of them go up. They all go down. So the more you trade, the more these percentages go down. So isn't that sort of like telling you something, that this is rigged <laughs> so that you don't make a lot of money? Anyway, so that, that might help you. I don't know if it helps you. But what I'm trying to do with this video is just to show you guys that this is not real trading. Now, what's the scam then? What are they trying to do? Well, for a start, they used to give you, if you bought a $10,000 license, so let's trot along here and let's go to subscriptions. If you it used to be, if you buy a $10,000 license, they would give you $50,000 worth of flash loan money to play with while it's in beta. So here it is here. You buy this license, you get $50,000 flash loan. You pay $10,000 for this. The most you can trade and make, and they will pay you that we've seen so far is around about $800, and that's been very generous. So put in $10,000. Get some play money, and they'll use your own money to pay back you, thinking that you're doing real trading. And then they tell you they're waiting for launch day. Now what they've been telling people that you are going to get three times. So if you pay $10,000, they're going to open up the flash lane limits to unlimited until you get your $10,000 times three. Now does that sound like hyperverse? It does to me. Same deal. You buy, they drip feed you your money back, and then what they do is they push down your throat that you should be recruiting people to be in your downline, your left leg, your right leg. They've got a binary system. So is this a scam? Yes, it is, in my opinion. Why is it a scam? Well, I've been following this company for the last couple of years, and I've seen them start, and I've seen them still going. I rang up the liquidators today to tell them that I've seen money laundering going on, and I know the company that's doing it. I'm hoping they're going to ring back and investigate. The men in black, the men in blue, whatever I want to call them, they don't act very fast. We've had one person arrested in connection with the 1.9 billion one, that's Bitcoin Rodney. And you've got Brenda Chunga, who was brought in for questioning and then become an informant for the men in black, trying to entrap Sam Lee. She has now admitted her guilt in blatantly promoting these scans via Zoom meetings. And then... Sam Lee has been charged with serious fraud, you know the rest. And now soon, any day now, Kalpesh Patel will also be charged for serious frauds. Remember, you heard it here first. This morning, well last night, well, I, did, I think it was this morning actually, no it was last night, I have a whistleblower. I have somebody that's going to come in here who's in the inside of this organisation, who knows it's a scam, and they're going to come on my YouTube channel and we're going to interview them and they're going to tell us why they are going to be a whistleblower. They are disgusted in what's happening at the moment. I don't know if I could answer anything else in this particular video, but if I go through here, for months they had down the bottom here how much money people have made by doing arbitrage trading, their arbitrage trading, and that's been removed in the website upgrade. Upgrade would mean theoretically working. As I pointed out, the market opportunities, you'll never ever see anything over 1.3. Why is that? Why is there never ever anything over 1.3? Because that's the 1.5 that they promise to pay people back per day. So what they're telling you is if you do bot trading, at $150, and you do this, you cannot get more than 1.3 back or 1.5 back in a day. You try it. And this is why I'm after these guys, because it's just another Ponzi scheme. <laughs>